So the wait for Euro 2024 is just about over. And over the next few days, I'm going to preview each and every one of the nation's hopes and dreams heading into the tournament. In this video, we're going to take a little look at Portugal. That's right, folks. Back once again with another preview video. Today, it is all about Euro 2024 and the hopes and dreams of a nation. We'll get into all of that and more in a second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button. Your one-stop shop for Euro 2024 is right here under one Ruski. We've got a lot of content coming at you over the summer for Euro 2024 and Copa America. So make sure you stick around for that by hitting the old subscribe and smashing the old likey likey. Today, we're going to go exploring a nation's hopes and dreams. And we're going to get into that in a minute. Of course, big big shout out once again to the VIPs. They are the patrons, of course. But anyway, let's get into it. All righty, of course, former winners are Portugal. Next out the blocks for me, qualified as Group J winners. That's right. Uh, they qualified on the 13th of October, 2023. And of course, this is their, uh, what we're looking at here. This is their, their 10th, 8th, 9th, 9th appearance, 9th appearance at the Euros. Uh, they've been eight times in the past. Their debut was back in 1984. Their best ever performance was, of course, that victory back in 2016. Can Ronaldo win another one? Well, you're in the hands of Roberto Martinez. Uh, at their helm, of course, and we'll explore their journey in a second. The key man, it might not be, it might not be uh, Ronaldo these days. He's getting on a little bit, of course. Uh, he will play, he will feature, he will be there, injury permitting, of course. Uh, but I also was, uh, uh, you know, made aware of uh, PSG's midfield Dynamo Vitinha uh, could be a key man. But for me, star man will be Bernardo Silva, who looks like he might be making uh, a move to La Liga in the summer. Uh, of course, in his prime right here, yeah, right now. Of course, P Portugal qualified as Group J winners with a perfect record, just two goals conceded. Has it been too easy for the Portuguese? When you look at that group, it is quite an easy group uh, on the grand scheme of things. When you traverse through the qualifying phases, you see England, uh, the Dutch, the French, all having uh, realistically more, more stubborn opposition in the qualifying phases. Portugal had a relatively easy journey to this point, and they've got a relatively easy, uh, no disrespect to these other nations, uh, uh, nations, in this group, in this group of, of course, in Euro 2024, so there they might be uh, some reason or some concern for off, for, for uh, you know, whenever a true opposition comes in the way, are Portugal going to be mentally prepared? That's what I'm saying here for Portugal right now. They've had an easy passage through here, Group J, and of course they've got uh, Group F to come at you, which includes the La Georgia, which we know they kind of came through like a weird backdoor, trapdoor, whatever. We got Czech Republic side who can be a problem, and a Turkey side also can be a problem. But realistically, on paper, the Portuguese should be able to navigate this group and we'll explain right now as we look at their resume here. Of course, they, of course, take on the Czech Republic on their first day, on the first match day on the 18th of June. That's right, before they take on the Turkish on the 22nd of June and wrapping up against Georgia, which could be really a dead dead tie at that point because uh, Portugal realistically should be looking at four points, if not more, in those two games against the Czech Republic and the Turkish. So that is my reason of concern for Portugal when we get to the knockout stages, because I believe Portugal should cruise through these group stages uh, without no too much. I think they could even qualify by the end of match number two, to be fair. Uh, and again, what happens when they come up against an England, a, a French or a Belgium or what have you? Then I think we'll see if the real, if Portugal are really mentally prepared. They might be a little bit complacent by that point. They might have the momentum with them. And, and of course, victories, uh, whether whether they're against Georgia or, or whoever, you know, does you know provide a, a, a feeling, a good feeling. Uh, of course, no one likes to lose. But if you keep on winning and make, wait, make winning a habit... Then of course you you might be uh, you might be fancying your chances to go quite far. The odds at the moment for Portugal. Uh, actually, we'll get to the odds in a minute. The key game for me is the Czech game. It is that uh, that first game. And why have I indicated that? Because that is a tricky opponent. And if you do, uh, you know, you've just won. I think perfect record or, or near perfect record in the qualification phase. Uh, I think it was a perfect record. Just two goals conceded. You're up against the Czech Republic side now. If you were to lose that game, you know, coming through a qualification phase, which I believe was quite simple. Your, your, moment, your mentals might go out the window here and then you might struggle to pick up a result against Turkey and then Georgia and then you could be embarrassingly so crashing out of this group whether it is a third place finish on three points or what so mentally you've got to get over that hurdle and Czech Republic you should beat Czech Republic if we simulated this 100 times you should come out on top at least 60 if not 75% of the chance uh, of those games so I think they should win but will you win that's of course a story for another day 9-4 to four on to win this group so the, the bookies fancy you to win the group to qualify 25 
25 to 1 on. And again, I have done a video where I've simulated the uh, European 2024 competition 100 times and Portugal only failed to get out of the group stages one at the 104 simulation. So... Portugal should be too strong for this group. Eight to one to lift the trophy. They're up there. They are well up there uh, as one of the favourites. I think top three, top four favourites. And of course, their 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 bracket might be uh, uh, definitely in their favour. For me, I have them going to the semi-finals. I do. And when you get to the semi-finals, and of course you've got experienced heads like a Ronaldo and things like that. I think you've you you've got it. You've got the tools. You've got the personnel. But have you got the man in the dugout? Is Roberto Martinez the man to get you to a final to lift the trophy? I don't know yet. And if you are meeting a France, Germany, Italy, Spain in that semi-final, then, of course, you know, you're up against some big boys. But a long journey up ahead. But are they good enough? We'll see. Well, there you have it, folks. There you bloody have it. Of course, the hopes and dreams of a nation. What do you expect this nation to do in the tournament out this summer? Will they get out of the group? Will they go the distance? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Of course, make sure you, of course, stick around to the channel. We've got plenty of content for Euro 2024 and Copa America uh, this summer. So I want you to be uh, well in tuned for that. But until then, guys, we'll be back tomorrow with some more content. Until then, subscribe, smash the like, and of course, we'll see you soon for the next one.